Hello! What's up? Uku Luca here with a new tutorial. So today we're gonna actually look at the tools, every single one of them. I'm gonna explain them one by one such that you guys can know what the actual features are, how you can use it and so on and so on. So let's just get right into it. We have all the tools that we can implement up here. We can literally just click them and then drag them out and put them wherever we want. Uh, afterwards, when we are ready and want to keep them there, we can just press the save button and it's gonna be done. All right, so um, we have here the top trending list. I think that's pretty simple. We can have them in small and big, so we can check that out. We can make it big and now we have them here. Pretty simple. Let's go to something a little bit more difficult. We have the text-to-speech here. If we check the text-to-speech, there is a lot of settings. We're gonna go through them one by one so I can explain everything. First we have the volume button. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. We can also set it to zero if we don't want to use it. That's one way of disabling it. Um, yeah. Then we have the character limit. The character limit goes up to 199. That's the maximum. Um, the character limit in ex in, uh, exp is, is pretty simple to understand. All you have to do is um, when, a when a chat comment is longer than the character limit, it's not getting spoken. So you can actually like remove chat that is way too long and you don't want to read out. Then um, the nickname maximum length is set to this. Uh, uh, an example is the easiest way to explain it. As an example, um, if I have the name Ukuluka and we only have the first three characters set in here, all he gonna say is Uku. So if a nickname is too long, it's gonna shorten it up. Then for the next things, we have what kind of chat comments should go through. As an example, I want all the subscribers, such that I can hear all the subscribers. We can have the normal users, which is literally everyone. So with normal users assigned, we can literally have all the users set. We have moderators, super chat, pretty self-explanatory. Um, then we have also unique users created below. What that means is all the users that you guys are gonna create down here are gonna also be included. Um, that means if we only have this set on, only the users that you guys have created down here will be implemented. Let's say we want moderators and all unique created users. That means all the moderators and also all created. So these could be normal people, this could be moderators, subscribers, etc. It doesn't matter. If you set this in, it's also going to use the, these people. Then we have some filtering that is very important. Um, ignore the comments with hashtag, ignore the comments with an ad sign in it or remove and, and remove the emojis from the comment. Um, I would put all of these always on on. If not, you can also keep it off. But hearing hashtags over and over and ha hearing conversations that have nothing to do with you is kind of not important. So I always keep those things on. Then we have the basic settings for the basic chat. This is the, ch the sound it's gonna make every time uh, a user talks that has nothing, uh, has no has no voice, a unique voice already set up. We can set it here with the language and the voices. We can then test it. This is what it will sound like. And this is what it will sound like. <laughs> then down here, which is really cool, is we can uh, add voices to unique users. As an example, let's say I want a voice for Ukuluka. I want the nickname to be Luca, such that rather than saying Ukuluka, it's gonna say Luca says which is pretty nice, I like that. So we're gonna keep it on Luca, we can then check it out, put the name, everything we want, we can then test it. Says, this is what it will sound like. And then if we like it, we can just add the user. Now we have the user added here, we can delete it afterwards, we can then press OK, successfully added, and that's how the text-to-speech works. All right, this was EXZ one of the- EXZ says buzz be you. <laughs> EXZ says buzz. Okay, let's remove that. Um, next thing, we have the event tracker. The event tracker, as I already said, um, catches all the events that happen on your stream. Um, we can see them here with, with Roberto Nero just became a fan. It's done flashing up and we can change this flashing in here with the color change speed. So we can set that to fast, normal or slow. 
which means if we keep it on slow, it's gonna flash longer. If we keep it on short, it's gonna flash shorter. Pretty self-explanatory. We also have the minimum likes for event, such that let's say we don't want the 10 likes, we don't want stickers, we want we only want things that that are um, above let's say 10 bars. So we can set that to 10, and then it's gonna um, ignore everything below. So so as an example, 10 likes would not be uh, registered, um, stickers would not be registered, and so on. I recommend always keeping this be, uh, above one so at least the stickers don't get through um, then also invites moments and fans that's pretty self-explanatory so we can save that that's the event tracker then we have the silenced users this one is also a pretty simple tool we can um, see the name we can see the pictures of the silenced users or if we put it on big we can also see the names of the silenced users um, this is pretty cool there we go. We can just scroll through, see the names. It's pretty nice. Um, wow, I've got to check something. Okay. Then we have the watching broadcast mods. Also pretty simple. Um, we can have that on small and big. The reason why you guys see this data updated already is because I'm using Valerie's stream right now and she's streaming. So you can add tools and remove tools while streaming. This is no problem at all. Um, then we have the sound player, that's the last tool for now. Um, what we find in here are also, this is also a little bit more tricky. Um, we can set the volume, that's pretty easy. We have the minimum likes for sound. This, is, um, this also triggers only sounds that are above things. So as an example, we don't want to have the 50 likes sounds played. So what we would do is we would put the minimum likes to like, let's say 60, right? It's pretty simple. Um, the only thing right now, also moderation is, it has no, has no cost. So it's will, it will still play. I, I will implement that. So um, it only um, f talks about the tip jar likes or the, 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 the likes of a gift. Okay, um, yeah, so um, then we can set the bar limit is ignored for gift, uh, gifts for unique users. What this means is when we add a gift that has, is made from a unique user, um, so for one single user, it, the sound will still play even if the minimum likes is not set or yeah. So in general, all the, all the gifts that actually have a, 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 a user set are gonna play. Then down here we can also filter what sounds we want to hear. We can set it to none or user specific or all. So we can set that to user specific, none or all. It's pretty simple. And the audio mode, we have your anarchy and one sound after another. So what does that mean? Um, it's simple to explain with, a, with a, an example, uh, which is imagine 10 people all drop 50s at the same time. With anarchy, the sound for the 50s are all going to overlap each other, so it's going to be bing, 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 okay? And the audio mode for one sound after another is going to be bing, 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 bing. They're going to be after each other. Pretty simple to understand, I would assume. Okay, so these are all the tools. We have one more thing to talk about, and that is actually starting the stream. So when we start the stream, we have, um, we have two inputs, which is one time the title of the stream and one time um, will we open a props chest. So what this means is we can actually um, write in here the, the context of the stream. So afterwards in the analytics, we can understand what we did in the stream to figure out why our stream did well, why our stream did w bad, and we can set it to if it's a props chest stream or not, such that we can also analyze this data and um, with this with this aspect uh, in in our mind. We then have here two buttons, which is start stream with gen generating analytics and one without generating analytics. Why is that? So if we create a, if we start a stream with generating analytics, we cannot start another tab. We cannot open a second tab where we do the same thing. Because if we do, would do so, we would upload too many analytics. So um, if you want to use my program twice, 
or um, twice, then, then you can start one with generating analytics and one without. So you can, you can start as many streams without generating analytics as, as you want, but you can only start one with generating analytics. I think that is um, uh, that's pretty okay to understand. And then um, we can set our text, uh, test, checkbox, and then start. If we then restart our stream, we don't really have to write anything in it. Um, or yeah, no, we you have to rewrite it actually because it already said. Uh, I can ch I can change that. So you can you only need to 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 write this in here once, and that's then it. Um, afterwards, if you restart and, and set the, set it to something else, you don't have to. Um, it's it's not gonna take that input. So you have to like write the 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 what what is the stream about and the checkbox at the first time you press the uh, stream with generating analytics. That's it. All right. <laughs> I hope you understood the tools. If there are still questions, hit them, send them in the comment section so I can answer them there and then people can see them too. Uh, I hope you liked the first tools that we implemented, many more to come. There's, there's going to be also a second tutorial for those. Um, but yeah, I hope you have fun and you have a beautiful day. Peace out.